Hi everyone, Xanthian here. Um, I'm just going to do a tutorial basically about how you can use item rack and some of the key or cool features that it gives you. Um, so I'm just going to have this obviously open my character like this. So this is item racks kind of uh, interface menu. So I've got the add-on up here. If I click left click it, it shows me the different sets that I've got. So I have sets for arcane, fire, frost, etc., um, and PPP sets as well. But if you right click it, so if you've installed it, obviously it should open up this menu. And what you basically can do is if you want to make a set, so I've got a number of sets here, they've all got different items associated with them. If I click on that set, so long as the items are in my bags, um, it will equip them, so it will swap sets around how I like. Um, but if I wanted to make a set, for example, so hey, I've got all these items on, but I want to change one or two items to do something new, all I have to do is click in this little thing here, uh, delete the name or change the name, so we'll just say um, trial set, and I just hit save. Now, I now have a new set called trial set, um, and you can pick the icon, so you can pick the icon here, you can choose if you want to show Helm and stuff like this, you can delete the set if you don't want it anymore, and I can choose to swap out, it will show me any items that I have available, um, I think in my bags and in my bank, uh, no actually only in my bags, so there's a few trinkets I have in my bank, so it will show all the items available in your bags that you can swap these with, so if I wanted to, I could swap this Helm with this one, click save, I could swap out this so I have my um, my Spellfire combo set, so now my trial set's like that, um, and it's different to my Arcane hit cap. so if I wanted to, I could put on, uh, so what that does is it saves the set, but it doesn't actually change your items, so your items are in your, like this, I'd then have to go and say I want to equip that set, and then it would swap the items out, and if I wanted to swap back to another set, boom, do that, so it can swap all your items nice and quickly. That's an okay feature, um, it's not amazing, it's, you know, there's a number of add-ons that do that. But the key feature I find pretty useful, well there's two key features, one is this events thing. Um, and actually mostly I just use it for mounted. So what it basically is, if I click on this mounted uh, event, it's saying when you mount, what, what do you do? So if I edit this, what it says is um, any mount, you can set some of these... Uh, things set up, you can name it, but if I pop back, I have a set here called mount, and basically what it is, is all, it's got all the other items deselected, so it doesn't change whatever I've got equipped, it only swaps my 14th trinket, my item slot 14, so my second trinket slot, to my riding crop. So when I, as you can see here, my thing is open, I've got two trinkets equipped, if I hop on the mount, it just auto swaps into my writing thing, so I get the extra 10% without thinking about it. If I um, swap between mounts, it will... There you go. So, give me my writing crop. So I can use this to speed up my mounts. Um, only problem is you can't swap trinkets in combat, so if you get into combat directly off a mount, you'll be stuck with this trinket. So, sometimes when you're mounting up, getting in combat really quickly and stuff like that, I actually disable it just so that I have the trinket available. So if I wanted to disable it, right click, events, just unselect it. Um, so when you select this, you'll actually have to choose what set it equips, so what do you do when mounted? Um, and that in that case there, you're basically, uh, I forget exactly how I selected it, but if you look through a little bit, it, it's not too difficult it basically says when mounted equip this set and whatever that set is will swap the items for you because i originally used to have like the enchant to boots for um minor speed i had like the what do you call it that trinket from vanilla the uh the carrot and stick thing so i had to equip a few items at once to get the full speed increase now it's just one trinket item so it's a bit simpler but the main thing that i recommend um, is this thing here called Q. Now Q is a really good, so let me just make sure I've got, okay, so I'm in my arcane set. So Q is this ability where it will swap your items 
um, out when they're on cooldown. So for example, I mostly use this as trinkets, but some people have on-hit weapons, for example. And on-hit weapons, you can swap weapons during combat. So you might have like a weapon that gives you a haste increase. And maybe, I'm not sure, if you remove the weapon, the haste increase buff remains. So you could get the haste increase and then immediately have it auto-swap to another weapon. Um, but I'm not sure on that. I'm mostly with trinkets. So with trinkets, for example, I just left-click this. And what you can see here, it's already pre-set up. Um, what it will do is when you click on that, it will be unselected this thing here called auto queue the slot. So if you auto queue the slot, what it means is you're saying, hey, I want to set a priority list of which trinkets I want to be used in this slot. So right now I have my icon of Silver Crescent. And then if that's on cooldown, it will swap to my Vengeance of Illidari. And then if that's on cooldown and this is on cooldown, it will swap to my um, third trinket, Ancient Draenei Arcane Relic. So I can have that set for both of them. So both of them are set to auto queue, and I have them auto queuing different trinkets. So as I use the cooldown, so I'll show you what that looks like. So um, I use the cooldown, so it's been activated. If I deactivate this, it will. If I just right click it off, um, either naturally or when it runs out, it now swaps my trinket automatically for me. Now, it can't do this in combat because you can't swap trinkets in combat, but what it is useful for is uh, clearing between trash pools, for example. You can just chain through a lot of different trinkets um, and get their maximum. You know, you can use their on-use ability and then swap to the next trinket, and then you kill the, the pack, and then it swaps to the next set of trinkets, and it will just go... What it does is it's a kind of loop, basically. So it will go back to your main trinket once it's ready again. So if I swap back in there when you click on each trinket basically the top is your most you know your priority trinket and then each one down it will go through that in that order it won't use any trinkets below this thing here stop Q, so i can move it up and down um, and basically it will just show you all the trinkets that are available um, i think in your bags generally speaking although it sometimes shows the stuff in my bank as well and basically you don't really want to be overlapping trinkets so you know you only have uh, these different trinkets for um, the different slots because otherwise it kind of gets messy so I just try to keep the same trinkets to the same slot and it'll just rotate through them as I use them on cooldown so once this gets used what you can see here is when I left click it it's got this little priority thing so I'm telling it when any of if all the trinkets are on cooldown this is the trinket I want to be prioritized to be in equipped ready to go and so you can do that as well so um, if you didn't set that to priority, what it will actually do is it'll just go through each trinket. So it'll use this, it'll use that, it'll use this, and then it'll go back up to the top one and use that, use this, use that. So because this is my best trinket, I want it always equipped when it's ready. Um, yeah, so that's basically the... That there is basically the whole point of this video, just to show you how to set this up. So if you wanted to... So, you, so I've got... The way that you do it is you have to select your set that you want to be using. So I'm an arcane hit. I've got it selected on. Um, I then go into Q. So this is the set that I have equipped. It's not the set that I've got selected here. So I can look through all of these. That's not the set that it's going to show you in your Q. That's going to show you the set you have um, literally equipped um, or told it to equip. You left click any of these things. So you might have other on use items or something that you want to swap out. Left click it. It'll be messy. You'll have all your trinkets and odd orders. Set the order of the trinkets that you want them to be. Set the priority for which trinket you want to be used if it's available. Uh, make sure, click the exit button. Make sure you have this auto queue selected. Otherwise, it doesn't actually auto queue that slot. So here I don't have my rings auto queued. I don't have my boots auto queued because there's no point. Um, and that will essentially allow you to use trinkets that you otherwise would just not use in any other case. So a lot of trinkets are like two minute cooldown, one minute 30 cooldown. So you basically can chain through, for example, um, if I just have a look at my this set here. So this is a two minute cooldown. This is a minute 30. This is a minute 30. So I use this two minutes. So in two minutes, 
it will re-equip once I'm out of combat, of course. If I'm in combat for longer, it'll just um, stick with whatever trinket I have on at that moment, which might be this one, but it could be another. Um, but this is a minute 30 cooldown. So I activate this. It's a 20-second um, ability. So if I activate that, now it's on cooldown. I drop that out. It swaps to my next trinket. When you equip a trinket, it takes 30 seconds before you can use its ability. Um, but so that's 20 seconds there. So after a minute 20, it would swap the trinket. Then 30 seconds from then, it would give me my next trinket. So 50 seconds in, I can use the next ability. The ability lasts 15 seconds. So that's one, that's one minute, five seconds. So I can use that ability. So we'll wait for it to come up. So I use that ability, doing my cast, killing some shit, getting top DPS, stuff like that, whatevs. Um, once this runs out, we'll just let it run out naturally so you can see. It will now swap to my final trinket that I have in slot, and it will go through the 30 second cooldown. Now if that 30 second cooldown, if this comes off cooldown, so it's still got a minute left, if this comes off cooldown, out of combat, uh, while this one is uh, not ready, so I haven't activated it, it'll actually swap to this one again because it'll say, hey, you want it. Um, so if I use this here, it will swap to this one. But what we'll do is we'll watch this to get to 30. At the bottom right, you can see it's like 35, 34, 33. I think it should swap out once it hits the 30 seconds. Yeah, okay. So what... When it's on 30 second cooldown from using its ability again, you already have to wait the 30 seconds for that trinket to become activated. So it actually swaps it exactly when like, the timer allows it to be instantly activated once it's allowed. So I can also activate my second trinket, obviously, cancel that ability, swaps out to my second trinket. And so basically I can chain through diff two different trinket slots like use that one, then use this instantly after, then swap to my trinket which has been swapped, then swap to this trinket, and just keep chaining all my trinkets. Um, and it will swap um, to this trinket because now it's back off cooldown again, and I could use my second trinket in 10 seconds. So I'm just jumping around, uh, waiting for it. I've got a lot of these things bound, so if I like AoE, for example, it will activate my trinket as well. So there we go, AoE activates trinket. Um, it will use its ability when I cancel it. Boom. Uh, well, it doesn't swap. Well, it should. Let's see. What is my... Pop back out. Do I have that set? So I do have it set it to priority. So I guess it's just... There we go. So it swaps it, it swaps it out once the 30 second timer comes back. So it'll sit on the last one it has, I guess, until this is 30 seconds away from being active again. So if this has a better uh, just kind of uh, base stat, you know, 32 crit is better than um, 26 in uh, spell power, it won't necessarily swap until this is kind of 30 seconds off its use again. But now I can activate my trinket, boom, cancel those. And now it swaps to my third one. And what's, I just have a look at my bags. This is eight seconds away from being activated. So you can see here, this is 15. This will be about, I guess, like 15 seconds away. It should swap to this one. Yeah, so it swaps to this one because I said this is priority. So even though that one was like 15 seconds closer to use, it will swap back to this. Really what it ends up being is you don't have to think about it too much. You just set and forget. Set your trinkets you want, set your auto queue on, and just bind in like your... So for example, in my macros, I'll just show you one. Uh, we'll just move this. So in my macros, uh, my AoE... Where are we? Arcane Explosion. Let's see it. Should be in here, I think. Shift Q. Oh, it's my blink. So yeah, in my blink here, I've got like my mod shift. So when I hold shift, my arcane explosion, otherwise no shift blink. When I'm holding shift, it will try and activate my item slot 13, which is this trinket. And then if that's not available, then it will try and activate 14 because they obviously you can't have activate both at once. Um, so when I AOE, 
I don't even think about it. It just activates my trink, whichever of my trinket is. So then I also can think about which are my priority trinkets, which are my strongest, and I can put that in whichever slot I want to activate first so that I can choose, I'll start with this, then this, then this, then this, then this. And I can just spam through my trinkets. They get activated just before I cast my um, AoE, so actually it affects my first cast as well. Boom, keep AoEing, and then it's active. And it will just chain through them. So it's pretty helpful, especially if you start binding it into some of your macros. You don't even have to think about it. And then you really just get the most out of all your trinkets. And that, that makes them worth saving. So this is like a 15 minute video, quite long, but hopefully that's explained basically everything you need to know. Um, I don't think really there's anything else to explain. You know about events. Um, you know how to do sets. You can pick your icon and you just create sets by clicking in here and writing a new name and clicking save. Uh, so that's basically it. So I can, yeah, if I select that set, I can just delete it and then no longer, it's no longer there. And then it will disappear out of this as well. So cool, I'll stop that. Hopefully this helps a few of you get higher deeps.